Kind of getting a late start this morning. Had to come back to the house because I thought I forgot something. Got four miles down the road. Not even on the highway yet. We had to pull over because uh, that's not a good start. The um, trailer behind the U-Haul, something shifted. Um, my brother's bike, the motorcycle, shifted and they have to readjust it. And then um, we didn't think we had tools, so mom came out. Where'd you go, mom? Brought some tools so they can get that adjusted and fix something else on the bike. I, I don't really know exactly what's going on. But anyways, the first little hiccup on the trip. Didn't even make it on the highway. Just on the on-ramp. <laughs> That's okay. We're just gonna take it slow and easy. I'm not, um, I'm not gonna rush or drive 90 miles an hour. Just go with the flow. We'll get there. Okay, everything's settled, everything's fixed, good to go. We're just gonna keep an eye on things back here and hopefully no more hiccups. But if so, I'm just gonna stay calm and keep going. Mississippi River, buddy. I'm going across the Mississippi River. Again, the bike just fell over. <sighs> so, we'll be there. I think we just got an Illinois over here. Be in Tennessee about 10 o'clock. Maybe not now. They're fixing it. Somehow. Well, you know us country folk. We can't go anywhere without going to Walmart first, so we had to make a stop at Walmart. We had to get some straps for the motorcycle that's giving us a hard time on this little beginning of our trip. But it looks like they're getting it strapped in down there. The truck had to park way down there, so we're right here. Alright, here we go. It's flat here. Mostly flat. GPS because oh. we're following him. Oh, Hapu? Yeah. Lake. Just stopped for fuel in, I don't know, somewhere in Illinois. And um, we were figuring out the gas mileage in the U Haul. Um, so it's a little bit better than five miles per gallon. We are getting six miles per gallon in the U-Haul. So, hey, better than five, right? Our plan is to stop in Paducah, and that's where we're gonna eat. We're gonna eat like a real meal, just because we've just been um, snacking, where well, the kids have been snacking. My jaw is still sore from getting my tooth pulled, so I'm not really snacking. But, and you know them, they want to go to Steak and Shake, but I don't know if that's going to be an option or not. We'll see. Alright, here we go.
that, Jake? You celebrating? Another state is gone. Over with. Just crossing over the Ohio River. stop at a gas station, put some air in, and um, hopefully it makes it the rest of the way. So we're at least halfway right now, so not too bad. down too. Make me nervous. Oh, and by the way, headlight went out on the U-Haul, so they're driving with one headlight and we kind of just, I don't know what to do about it right now. We, there's not even a Walmart or anything nearby, but we'll figure it out tomorrow morning during the day. Get a new headlight and I'll get my tire fixed. Hopefully, if everything goes well. So, we're almost to my granny's house. Good stop along the way for a couple nights, but right now, we're heading up the mountain. We'll just look at the real road. No, you need to look at the real road. Like, don't look in a screen. You need to look at the road. I don't want you to get car sick. Going uphill, around the curves. 
take my eyes off the evil symbol. Okay, now let's see. Seems to be going pretty good so far. Deep. Time for me to back off quite a bit. I just worry about the one headlight thing. What happens if you sleep during this whole mountain thing? You'd probably be fine. I mean, as long as you're not driving. <laughs> Pretty though. She gets some real pretty views, doesn't she, at her house? Still. I'm mad at you. Who? The U-Haul was my. You're mad thing. at me? I was trying to pay attention on the U-Haul thing, and then you are like one mile away from him. Well, I don't want to get too close to the U-Haul right now. It's a heavy load. They're going up. Something goes wrong, I want to be able to get out of the way. Got precious cargo, you know. Just when it got real steep, that's all. When it starts getting level again, we'll get closer. It's starting to level out. 